Hello from one of the most southerly points on the English map. We have travelled to the Vitality Stadium. My name's Derek Ray, and delighted to have alongside me, as usual on these occasions, Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Bournemouth up against Watford. Well, Derek, I have to say it's been a great start by Watford. They've looked well organised, they've played some good football, and they've been full of energy. Let's hope they show the same qualities today. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. What are you expecting to see from him, Stuart? Well, at the moment, Derek, every time a chance comes his way, he finishes brilliantly. He looks a real threat, whether he's running with the ball or running behind defenders to get on the end of through balls. He's going to score again today, I'm sure of it. And the starting 11 for Bournemouth. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. And so the initial 11 for Watford. Well, it's not fashionable, but 4-4-2 can still be a good system both with and without the ball. Key to success today will be the wide players. They need to be the main creators. And this confrontation is underway. Bournemouth struggling to keep possession. Gardner. And the keeper with the ball. Andrade. Clark. So for Watford, it certainly was a good performance and result in the last match against Arsenal. How do you think this one will go, Stuart? Well, they were so clinical in front of goal, weren't they? But what I like was seeing how disappointed they were to concede that goal. Today, though, I think it'd be totally different. They'll struggle to get possession, and as a result, we'll probably get nothing from the game. Rashford. And they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. And the keeper, there to deal with it. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, it still could be dangerous. Foden. Clark. A very timely interception. But I'm hearing the situation has changed in the City game. Alex Scott is going to tell us more. It's, a... it's there for him. Able to close down the shot. And apologies to Alex for having to interrupt her. Just to confirm, Burnley did find the net in that game, and they now hold a 1-0 lead. Ndidi could be threatening. Hernandez. And defensive play to be applauded. Emmanuel Dennis and support available. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. Are back underway. And 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Kleibert. 
Wolf with it. Kleibert. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Marcus Rashford. Emmanuel Dennis. Failure to keep the ball by Watford. Nearly at the break then, and the visitors have eked out a lead. Stewart, an opportune moment, I think, to get your assessment. Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half-time. Oh, maybe the equaliser! And just a little bit off target, just wide. Yeah, it was close, but the keeper would have saved that had it been on target. Pedro Watford sloppy in possession here Amiri Emmanuel Dennis now with Wang and it's Dennis Can they convert? Oh, fine stop. Playing it in. And swept off the line. And the shot. Oh, he saved it well. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Oh, you don't want to lose the ball in that position. And you've just witnessed a moment of truly high-class goalkeeping. You're absolutely right. What a save that is. He's reacted so quickly. Oh, splendid header, but a fine save. Can they hit on the break? Strong but fair tackle. Emmanuel Dennis. Can he find the net? And the keeper stretching to deny him. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Clearance left a bit to be desired. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Just a reminder, we have more absorbing action from the Premier League coming your way here on EA TV. It's Bournemouth taking on Liverpool. I like the look of that game. The atmosphere is always good inside that stadium and two very good teams. Determined defending. Counter-attacking chance. Joe Willock. Now indeed he. Ndidi Adams Good use After the foul A chance to contemplate what is next And perhaps a goal from this free kick That was a tremendous
save after a wonderful free kick. Well, the crowd are doing their bit. Can they find the equaliser here? Delivering it. Clearing it away. Well, delighted to say more Premier League action coming up for you here on EA TV. It's Watford facing Everton. Well, that should be a really good game between two entertaining teams in a great stadium. Surely! Well, it's all going so swimmingly for them here. Another goal. And now it's a matter of avoiding any silly mistakes. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. And there's been a change to the scoreline in the City game. Alex Scott has the news. It's a second goal for Manchester City. It was a low-driven cross, and he was never going to miss from there. They've pulled one back with just over 10 minutes left to play. Entertaining stuff so far here, Derek. Alex with the info as ever. Oh, managing to beat him. And teammates to play it to. Takes the shot. That is how to keep it out of the net. Good work from Bournemouth to win it back. Hernandez. Now Ndidi. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Free kick awarded then by the referee. Well, some referees might have elected to hand out the yellow card, but no booking on this occasion. So two minutes of stoppage time here. Gardner. Pedro. Good technique displayed. And there goes the final whistle. All is well in the Watford camp. They get the victory and take maximum points. How would you sum it up? Well, what a start to the season for them. They look well organised, they look threatening going forward and they work really hard to win the ball back. Can they keep it going? That's the big question. Well, you know, when our colleagues in the newspapers come out with their grades for this match, he's going to get very high marks. Well, it's a good performance. He worked hard, played well and scored a goal. And his team won. What more could you ask for? Well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. 